Pearl is having a growth spurt? What's happening to- Which means she needs- Food! She eats the entire fridge! <laughs> they have no more- Food! In the house. So Mr. Krabs is forced to find some more. He starts at Mrs. Puff's house, grabbing what are thought to be peanuts, but are secretly- Peanut worms! <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> His next location was Patrick's Rock. He found what he thought was food, but was actually sand. He then raided Squidward's house and filled an entire sack with food. Hey, mister, what's with this sack? He tells him that he's practicing to be Sandy Claus. So those idiots just give him a ride home. She somehow still needs... Ah! SpongeBob's house was his last option, but SpongeBob just thinks it's a... Slumber party. Squidward then threatens to call the police, but Mr. Krabs just gives him his... Golden tooth. To shut him the f*** up. They then give Pearl a Krabby Patty and she's chilling. <laughs> SpongeBob received a letter from his... Cousin Blackjack. He is... Out of prison and decided to pay your parents a visit. Apparently he's the same Blackjack that used to beat up SpongeBob when they were kids. SpongeBob decides to be a hero. Oh, gosh, what happened to my parents' house? His parents are nowhere to be seen, and all his furniture is covered in plastic. Another note? That said he's going to SpongeBob's grandma's house. Grandma! SpongeBob believes he's too late, and this is his burned grandmother? Oh, that animal! SpongeBob? <laughs> Where's Blackjack? He's got some loose ends to tie up. SpongeBob then goes to Uncle Captain Blue because he always knows what to do. I'll drive you all the way over to Blackjack's. SpongeBob is very nervous to be at Blackjack's, but he finds some courage and goes inside. SpongeBob finds out that his parents are throwing a party for Blackjack getting out of prison. I always knew you were a little man. You wanna tussle? <laughs> Mr. Krabs and Plankton are notified that the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket are located too close together, meaning one must be bulldozed. SpongeBob attempts to get people to sign a petition to save the Krusty Krab. Why would I care about that? <laughs> We then find out that there's a rumor going around saying that Krabby Patties are dangerous. <gasps> Sir, where did you get this? They're all over the place. This must be plankton. They fight off this propaganda by saying that they're only dangerous because they're so delicious. Plankton is about to accept defeat <laughs> when out of nowhere, SpongeBob gives him the idea to create his own petition, but Pay them. to sign it. And he has an evil invention yard sale to raise the money. He even tries selling his wife. Plankton. All of Bikini Bottom signs a petition. Mr. Krabs signs it. Four times! It is now bulldozing time. After learning that. You're not gonna destroy the Krusty Krab? He destroys the chum bucket. SpongeBob spent the entire night at the bus stop so he could be the first person to. Love World! SpongeBob has a dilemma. He is not able to say no to anyone. I need your help with an experiment. Yeah, I'd like to, but this is an emergency. Sandy just uses SpongeBob to power her blender, which causes SpongeBob to miss the bus to Glove World. He decides it's time for a change. Toughen it up with a new abrasive side. It makes SpongeBob roast literally everyone. I wonder how this thing works. <laughs> Why don't you scram, you little freeloader? His grandmother isn't even safe. SpongeBob, would you help? Why don't you walk yourself across the street? He then decapitates Sandy. No can't do, you brainless lab rat. <laughs> Squidward ends up being a very big fan of the new SpongeBob. I wouldn't hang out with you for all the money in Krabs' mattress. Sandy ends up removing SpongeBob's abrasive side, though someone else takes it. I am busy. It's just a normal day. SpongeBob's just vibing making Krabby Patties. When out of nowhere, we meet Bubble Pass. We find out that he's a very picky eater. Here you go. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm watching a Nikado Avocado video? You forgot the pickle! <gasps> this really upsets SpongeBob. Bun down, shoe, mustard, pan, bun up! Mr. Krabs gives SpongeBob the rest of the day off and makes Squidward the fry cook. Patties are done. SpongeBob goes home and forgets how to sleep. Good night, Gary. Nope, uh-uh, wrong. Mr. Krabs is forced to get SpongeBob back because Squidward burnt my shake. SpongeBob went full out insane. Mr. Krabs, hello. Do you how do? You're fine, me boy. Ooh. It's all good, though, because SpongeBob figures out. <laughs> Look, 
He's been hiding the pickles under his tongue the whole time. During Mr. Krabs' daily money bath, he smells the health inspector. He tells SpongeBob to treat him extra nice. What can I get for you, handsome? One of everything on the menu. They give him an all-you-can-eat buffet. Mr. Krabs then sees a news report about someone pretending to be a health inspector to get free food. He's now convinced he's been scammed. They craft the most disgusting hamburger known to man and serve it to the health inspector. <laughs> It also ends up that the health inspector imposter was captured. They then go to the middle of nowhere to hide the body. Two police officers show up wanting Krabby Patties. It starts to monsoon, which causes the body to slide down behind the police car. SpongeBob hides the body and shovel in the trunk, and they go to the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob attempts to conceal the body in the fridge, but the back door is locked. Maybe he turned into a zombie. <laughs> Zombie. Squidward died? Oh, Squidward. We all came as soon as we were sure you were dead. In season one, episode 11, Squidward made a sculpture of himself. And now that I've been immortalized in wax... While Squidward's taking a bath, SpongeBob and Patrick accidentally assault Squidward's sculpture. Remember, Patrick, finders keepers. There it is! They end up thinking that they murdered Squidward. I think something's wrong with Squidward. <laughs> What are you worried about? They end up putting the wax in the sun. Squidward! The real Squidward then pretends to be a ghost to get SpongeBob and Patrick to do errands for him. One watermelon. SpongeBob then decides to put poor old Squidward to rest. <laughs> okay, get in. I wrote, here lies Squidward. <laughs> Squidward then breaks the news to SpongeBob. I have a confession to make. <gasps> You're bald. No, I'm not. Pearl finds out that there's a hideous barnacle growing on her face. <laughs> this is terrible. Because the school dances this weekend. Mr. Krabs realizes how serious this situation is, so he hires SpongeBob to exterminate the pimple. He first attempts to rip it off with a spatula. That failed horribly, so he attempts to use a shovel. Pearl then decides to wash her face with soap and water, which causes the pimples to multiply. Ah! <sighs> SpongeBob becomes obsessed with the soap because it smells very familiar. Pearl, I'm home! <laughs> After having eight heart attacks, Mr. Krabs disappears into his jewel vault. Where do you keep yourself? In the basement, duh. SpongeBob enters the mysterious basement and discovers that Mr. Krabs is making soap out of Krabby Patties. That's great! Ta -da! You look amazing. Big jewels, please! Squidward witnesses a weird old man karate chopping his food. Mustard! Yes, you're- He then realizes that that was- Fiasco, the artist. <laughs> you call this- He showcases it to the entire restaurant. Oh, fiasco? Ooh, what's your asking price? Squidward declares that it's not for sale. Not even for- A million dollars. Taking me. It's not yours, me plate, me bud. This jellyfish then states- It's authentic, which makes this a national treasure. Which causes the Krusty Krab to become a museum. A shoot of Krabby Patty. Stop that! Plankton immediately receives a five star wanted level. What's with the police? Just a bag of garbage. He attempts to evade his pursuers by going to space. Stop the plan B is SpongeBob's pineapple. Keep your hands where I can see them. Patrick then consumes the fiasco. <laughs> Not bad. The police then arrest all of them, and Patrick becomes a museum. <laughs> Such artistic genius. Mr. Krabs is fixing a hole with toothpaste. It doesn't really work that well. That small hole in the wall just became a medium-sized hole in the wall. Some random guy mistakes it for a drive through Mr. Krabs obviously takes advantage of this opportunity to make even more money. <laughs> this guy tries to sue Mr. Krabs, so he just makes the hole bigger. Yeah, problem solved. Squidward's getting very tired of running back and forth. Now how am I? Hi. Plankton attempts to steal a Krabby Patty from the drive-thru, but no one can hear or see him. Hello? Go around! The drive-thru becomes so popular that there's a line of customers out there a million miles long. That's nice. The police then show up. We're turning the whole town into a parking lot. Because your drive-thru is so slow. So he just makes a second drive-thru. But that's not enough. More drive-thrus. More money. 
<laughs> the pandemonium has broken out in the Krusty Krab because SpongeBob was late to work, which makes everyone think that SpongeBob died. When in reality, Bro just accidentally unplugged his alarm clock. He attempts to plug it back in. It doesn't go so well. He begins to repair the time-telling device. He fumbles an integral part, and it lands in Patrick's esophagus. Patrick offers to help, but then gets a little bit frustrated, which forces SpongeBob to purchase an entire store of alarm clocks. Take them all. Somehow, not even one of the alarm clocks were able to wake up SpongeBob, so he used all of them in some sort of contraption to just bring his sleeping self to the Krusty Krab. He even had the entire process of making Krabby Patties automated until Bubble Bass ruined it. It's all good though, because Patrick fixed the clock. Plankton has finally stolen the Krabby Patty. Go ahead, take it. It ends up that Mr. Krabs implemented a new security measure that causes every Krabby Patty to self-destruct 10 feet beyond the Krusty Krab. And this fat fuck got caught in the crossfire. You're gonna blow up like a balloon. Nonsense. This altercation causes SpongeBob to get curious. Can't you two be friends? They then discover a new restaurant called the Flabby Patty. Plankton immediately becomes obsessed. Forget the Krabby formula. I must have the Flabby. Mr. Krabs has the same goal because the Flabby Patty Shack is stolen on me customers. Mr. Krabs and Plankton begin competing to see who can steal the formula first. <laughs> SpongeBob eventually talks him into working together. Mr. Krabs politely asks for a job, and the owner just hands over the recipe. It's a recipe for friendship. Ta -da! SpongeBob buys Gary some snail bites. He instantly becomes addicted, doing literally anything just for one more snail bite. From archery to motorcycle tricks. Whoops, looks like that was the last of them, Gary. Gary does not take this news very well. Ah! Gary, what do you want from me? They go to the pet store and wait till the morning just to find out snail bites. Sold out almost immediately. This causes Gary to become rabid. <sighs> Gary follows him to work and causes yes! This random guy recommends to try going to the factory where they make them. The factory closed because they ran out of ingredients, meaning they could not make any more. So they travel around the entire world trying to find one box. This is a map of every pet store in the entire world. We've been to every single one of them and not one of them has any snail bites. So it's finally time for SpongeBob to tell Gary. No. <laughs> We then find out that Patrick had a box the entire time. It's empty! No, no, no! The Krusty Krab has definitely seen some better days. The first customer in years shows up just to roast Mr. Krabs on how boring his restaurant is. Then these two fish decide to not go to the Krusty Krab because there's a dog at the shell shack. Money walking! I need to think of a gimmick like that! SpongeBob tries to tell him that he has an idea, though he ignores him and comes up with his own idea, which is burying himself alive. After that idea fails horribly, he finally listens to Spongebob. That petty spoiled! It's not tainted meat, it's tainted meat! He calls them pretty patties. Mr. Krabs thinks his idea is a joke, so Spongebob decides to prove him wrong and sell them himself. Pretty patties are an instant hit. Spongebob makes so much money, he turns into Mr. Beast. Mr. Krabs discovers how wrong he was and decides to trade Spongebob, the Krusty Krab, for the Pretty Patty stand. We want a refund. Squidward, let me in. <laughs> Squidward points out that Patrick does not have a nose, which sends him into a midlife crisis. Squidward pretends to have his nose and throws it outside. Patrick believes he found it, but it's really just a hermit crab. SpongeBob points out that a ton of fish do not have noses. Yeah, but all my friends have noses. Patrick decides to get a nose surgery. He carefully removes the bandages and reveals his peculiar nostrils. He then gets a whiff of a few pastries, so he shows his nose in them. I guess I won't be eating those. He also decimates Squidward's flowers. It was all fun and games until Patrick discovered bad smells. Bro cleaned his house for 48 hours in a row. He rocket launched smelly cheese. He scared all of Mr. Krabs' customers away with candles. He also told Sandy she smells bad. So they all devised a plan to exterminate Patrick's nostrils. <laughs> Hello. 
SpongeBob was just jellyfishing when he discovers a creepy, spooky, evil looking cave. <laughs> this cave has a monster inside that turns everything it eats into a clone. Its first victim is Patrick, and SpongeBob has no idea. Gosh! You don't suppose he's- Squidward is then cloned. They try to get SpongeBob, but it doesn't go so well. Oh, hey, you want some popcorn? Here you go. Even Gary's not safe. We then discover that the entire town is cloned. Whoa, look at all the customers. We also find out that the clones are not a fan of- Extra mail. And that they're- Here to replace you and all of your kind. SpongeBob went to the freezer to go find some mayo because he was hungry. When he discovered the- Monsters. Squidward and Mr. Krabs and some random guy! Hi, SpongeBob! SpongeBob runs away and gets caught by Sandy. They devise a plan to defeat the clones. Patrick had the idea to make spicy bubbles! SpongeBob then creates a massive bubble which incinerates Squidward. After that, they got his handies. Where they destroy her entire air system. <laughs> They then go to the surface because Sandy's suit's air supply is near and empty. Which causes her to get a little bit crazy. You taste like glass. I know a shortcut. She proceeds to just drive around in circles. Eventually, they reach the surface, but Sandy gets a hankering for a Krabby Patty. What are you? After being ejected into the Krusty Krab, Sandy turns blue. So Patrick sucks up some air bubbles and kisses Sandy. <laughs> Mr. Krabs and Pearl also assist her in obtaining oxygen. Then for some reason, SpongeBob uses an oxygen tank as a makeshift rocket to go back to the surface and make a humongous air bubble to surround Sandy's home. How'd you fellers? We had a little help from a big bubble. Uh -oh. Mr. Krabs has some terrible news that SpongeBob has accumulated too many vacation days. And if he doesn't take some time off, I'll have to pay a fine. <laughs> so SpongeBob is forced to take a vacation. I'm ready. Vacation. SpongeBob utilizes the extra time by pumping some iron and flossing his teeth. Problem is, bro had no idea what a vacation was. What's a vacation? He was definitely not a fan of the answer. His replacement was Patrick. They put a tiny bee. With this belly scratcher. <laughs> SpongeBob comes up with a ton of excuses to go back to the Krusty Krab every single time he gets kicked out. It comes to the point where Mr. Krab has to drive him to the woods and abandon SpongeBob there, which causes SpongeBob to literally go crazy. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> he then turns into Patrick. I just couldn't stay away. We then find out that this all happened just so Mr. Krabs could save a nickel. That's more than I make in a year. SpongeBob slips and falls because nobody's cleaned out the grease trap. He sucks out all of the grease and then they dump it at the chum bucket. Plankton soon discovers that the mysterious substance tastes delicious. So he starts selling it, which causes him to steal all of Mr. Krab. Customers, what the? You stole me, formula? I'm simply using a gift. Eugene then invents the deluxe Krabby Patty to steal all of the customers back. Plankton then counteracts with the ultra chubby patties packed with quadruple grilled goodness. Mr. Krabs takes it a little bit too far when he starts selling greasy buns and grease soup. <laughs> that was the final straw. SpongeBob called the Health Inspector. They've been feeding people. <laughs> They've been feeding people. Both of the restaurants are ordered to be closed down until the two of you get rid of all the grease. <laughs> The end of an era. No. SpongeBob solves the problem by soaking it all up. That crusty crab is grease free. Patrick, oh, no. away. No. Mr. Krabs has a fancy guessing contest. Whoever wins gets a free Krabby Patty. All of the customers guess horribly. 42. Until Plankton shows up. Naturally, Mr. Krabs' initial reaction is you don't get to guess. He then spits him towards the chum bucket. So Plankton calls the Focus Business Bureau. I am Agent Mr. Krabs is notified that if he does not let Plankton enter the contest I'll shut down the Krusty Krab Plankton uses futuristic technology to get the right answer So Mr. Krabs attempts to stall with a puppet show Mr. Krabs then gets nervous so he takes a massive dump 
Plankton attempts to take his Krabby Patty to go, but the rule is you have to eat it on the premises. He rushes back to the chum bucket so Karen can put this Krabby Patty out of me. Hold still. Oh. The patty tastes like stomach acid. Squidward is upset because this infant spit on his clarinet. So he forces Mr. Krabs to get him a place to store personal property. After receiving hives, Mr. Krabs gives him his old Navy locker that has a dead guy in it. Squidward is required by law to share it with SpongeBob, who decides to clean the locker and give it some renovation. Squidward is worried about his clarinet, so he enters the locker and is very surprised by the reconstruction. When looking for SpongeBob, he discovers a secret passage that leads to a stage. When the curtains open, there am I. He discovers his clarinet, but it flies away. Hey, come back! Where are you? <laughs> Mr. Eagle does not like Squidward's tone. So he swallows him. Squidward finds SpongeBob and chases him onto a clarinet, which ejects him into a pinball machine. He then gets vacuumed, causing a nuclear explosion. Gotcha! <laughs> Prehistoric SpongeBob was just taking a nap when out of nowhere a massive purple whale woke him up. He then wears his blanket and takes Gary for a walk, which angers Squidward due to all the snail juice. Squidward then imagines what would happen if he approached Gary. He decides to do it anyway. He ends up slipping on the juice and getting very moist. Patrick then consumes the moisture. <laughs> Patrick then encounters SpongeBob. They take part in some buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Patrick clapping causes it to rain. Lightning then strikes the log, creating fire. They are petrified of the flames. They then all burn themselves in the fire. Patrick ends up trying to eat himself. They then discover how to cook food, and Squidward compares SpongeBob to Albert Einstein. <laughs> SpongeBob discovers that Sandy's in trouble. <laughs> he discovers that that was just her karate sensei. Fuzzy acorns. SpongeBob then wishes he had a karate belt. To do so, he would have to defeat Sandy in a karate battle. Otherwise, you get nothing. He trained all night, from climbing stairs to lifting weights. <laughs> Unfortunately, he overtrained and got knocked the f out. Huh? You're unfit to wear a belt of any kind. He even took Sandy's belt for wasting his time. You can't do that. Fuzzy also gave SpongeBob the advice to stick to something you're good at. Sandy then convinces Fuzzy to spectate SpongeBob working at the Krusty Krab. Huh? Squishy Boy is more skilled. Told ya. Fuzzy decides to test him myself. <laughs> SpongeBob just keeps accidentally destroying Fuzzy. <laughs> Once he's thrown into a barrel of pickles, he waves the white flag and gives SpongeBob a black belt. Fuzzy, you look terrible! SpongeBob wakes up nice and early because it's picture day! SpongeBob spends like 20 minutes getting ready to just have everything ruined by a piece of kelp. SpongeBob then gets dipped into the back of a trash truck. <laughs> Next speedrun attempt, SpongeBob avoids the trash truck, though he encounters a different dilemma. The teenagers! They're pelting us with balloons filled with ketchup! SpongeBob swiftly dodges the first balloon, but then gets cornered. Please, you've gotta spare me! <laughs> SpongeBob evades all the children, but ends up getting squirted on by an old man. Fiddlesticks! SpongeBob then encounters Water! Stamps! Oatmeal! SpongeBob then comes up with a bulletproof plan. That's it. Hey, why did I bring jelly? No, 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 Patrick, I'm not jelly. SpongeBob has a dream where it's raining Krabby Patties, which causes him to start eating his pillow. He decides to go down to his kitchen to get a midnight snack, but ends up just passing the f out. He forgot to close the fridge door, causing his entire house to turn into Antarctica. <laughs> 
Gary accuses SpongeBob of being sick, which he thinks is impossible, so he goes to work. Gary tells Mr. Krabs that SpongeBob has the suds, and he sends him home. He then calls Sandy for a ride to the doctor. Then Patrick shows up. You can't go. Why not? <laughs> Patrick then becomes his doctor. He gives SpongeBob some very interesting treatment. Sandy shows up to try to take him to the actual doctor, so Patrick disguises him as a rock. They fight over SpongeBob. He ends up rolling down a mountain and destroying the Krusty Krab. Oh, Hans. <laughs> The Krusty Krab has a deficiency in customers. Oh, no. What's happening to me? SpongeBob determines that Patrick is suffering from Krabby Patty withdrawal. Mr. Krabs attempts to take advantage of Patrick's condition by offering him a Krabby Patty with extra cheese. Oh, me. First, Mr. Krabs has to know Can you pay for it? Yeah, I can pay. He then gives Patrick like 100 Krabby Patties and he sucks them all up. Patrick then becomes obesity. Now let's get down to business. I don't have any money. <laughs> huh? You're gonna pay one way or another. Mr. Krabs gives Patrick the job of cleaning the bathroom floor, but he ends up eating hand soap. It doesn't taste as good as it smells. He then gives Patrick the job of putting the trash in the trash chute. It won't go down! <laughs> Patrick then thinks Mr. Krabs' money bag is a trash bag. Where did you earn me money bag yet, Patrick? SpongeBob had a dream where he was SpongeBob the Strong. We meet again, crazy fish. They proceed to play rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Cheating. No, it's not. Whilst arguing with the crazy fish, SpongeBob forgets to save the girl from the train. Don't worry, I'm ready. Bring it on. SpongeBob then wakes up from his dream, feeling hella strong and confident. SpongeBob then attempts to open up his toothpaste and fails so horribly he gives himself a black eye. <laughs> SpongeBob tries his best to conceal his black eye. Hey, cool glasses. Can I try them on? <gasps> SpongeBob tells Patrick he got the black eye beating someone up. SpongeBob then spreads the same cap to Sandy Cheeks. SpongeBob even proclaimed that he drank the man's tears. SpongeBob then tells all of the Krusty Krab that he's going to give Jack and Crazy Face the whopping of a lifetime. Whoa! Football! <laughs> Patrick gets mad at Spongebob because he doesn't understand sentimental value because he's throwing away heat and a bunch of other trash. Patrick's rant causes Spongebob to become a hoarder because all of these things do hold precious memories. He puts all of the trash on the shelf like they're trophies. When he goes to work, he puts literally everything into a jar. So many memories, real grease, gum, mayonnaise. Spongebob's house then becomes a landfill. <laughs> It becomes so bad, he has to start storing stuff in the front yard. <laughs> Naturally, Squidward's not too happy about this. Open the door, Nitwit! So he calls the sanitation police. These things aren't junk. They're my friends. They call Squidward a snitch and say that both of their houses are condemned. You'll have to vacate the home immediately. Unless they throw away the trash. SpongeBob decides to be strong, ah! but take some pictures first. What the? Mr. Krabs is very distressed. This is because the hooks are back. He warns SpongeBob the dangers of the fishermen. Then Patrick arrives and invites him to the carnival, which just ends up being hundreds of hooks. Mr. Krabs says they're really dangerous. Hmm. How can they be dangerous if they're covered in free cheese? Patrick then gets catapulted towards the surface. SpongeBob is sure he just lost his best friend. Do not worry. Patrick is completely fine, which causes SpongeBob to get hooked on the hooks. Mr. Krabs finds out because Squidward snitched. <laughs> If I could only hold him in my arms again, I'd throttle him. They promised Mr. Krabs that they would never go on the hooks ever again. The next morning, Patrick invites SpongeBob to go on the hooks. He says, hell no, but encounters a hook on the way to work. He indulges in the bad habit and gets hooked for real. <laughs> it's SpongeBob nudie pants. Ah! Squidward lets out a massive... Do you need a break or something. He then burns himself on a stove. SpongeBob attempts to help, but ends up just turning him into a fry. <laughs> Squidward then develops PTSD and climbs onto the ceiling. After some time goes by, he gets a present for SpongeBob. 
my very own restraining order. His lawyers explain that he cannot come within 15 feet of Mr. Squidward or he gets serious jail time. The lawyers then fly away. SpongeBob tries his best to make it work, but it doesn't go so well. Mr. Krabs then tries to fix the issue by hiring Patrick. Naturally, Squidward does not take this news very well. Wherever he goes, Patrick is there. He can't even poop alone. Your favorite. I'm Patrick is then convinced that he's a monster. It's after SpongeBob. Karen runs over Plankton because she got a little bit distracted due to her purchasing a baby on Amazon. Plankton does not want to be a father, so he attempts to deter the child. Their baby ends up being a calculator. We also learn his name is Chip. Plankton is very annoyed because the kid won't shut the f*** up, which is made even worse because a little birdie told SpongeBob, Chip then takes his first steps and evolves, which causes Plankton to take a trip to Poop City. Chip goes to the arcade to enter one of the games. The monsters end up being too big, so Karen forces him to leave the game, which makes Chip rebel. Karen asks Plankton to talk to Chip, and Plankton just tells him to run away. Chip runs into some evil robots. Karen finds out, so she forces Plankton to save him. His tank gets dismantled, so Chip has to save the day. Leave my father alone! SpongeBob watches some very interesting content in his living room. Gary! I was just looking for the sports channel. Then Patrick arrives to show off his brand new shoes. SpongeBob thinks they look great, but he wants to see what they look like on his feet. Problem is, Patrick does not know how to tie his shoes. SpongeBob tries to teach him, but realizes he doesn't know how to tie his shoes either. Due to them being tied since he was born, he hopes a fat nap would help him remember. It did not, so he tripped his entire way to the Krusty Krab. Hi, SpongeBob. <gasps> I can't let Patrick see I still haven't tied my shoes. So he hides his shoes under the floor. SpongeBob attempts to fulfill his fry cooking duties. It could have gone better. <laughs> What's the hold? <laughs> Mr. Krabs overhears the disgruntled customer and scares them off because he's in his underwear. SpongeBob asks a ton of different people how to tie his shoes, but the only person that knows how was Gary. <laughs> Mr. Krabs decides to tell us the story of Peace Freeze. Bro really enjoyed making funny faces. <laughs> How rude! Until one day, his face froze! Until his tongue dried up and fell off. Oh, oh no! no! SpongeBob and Patrick try their absolute best to not make funny faces. Patrick, don't even smile! But they could not hold back the urge. <laughs> <laughs> because their faces did not freeze, they believe that Mr. Crab Tall Tail isn't true. Let's make lots of faces! They begin to make some very sus faces. <laughs> they decide to see what happens when we hold one face for a long time. Patrick turns into a crocodile, while SpongeBob turns into Gary. They then terrorize the entire bikini bottom. <laughs> After that, they fall asleep, causing them to catch the Wicked Face Freeze. This makes it literally impossible for SpongeBob to work, causing Mr. Krabs to get the face freeze. What the heck? <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick were causing a ruckus. In my yard! Squidward forces them to go back to their own houses. He then creates a border that they shall never pass. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Patrick tries to mail himself. <laughs> And SpongeBob tries to slingshot himself. I'm coming. After those failures, they end up calling each other and coming up with the idea of making a tunnel right under Squidward's house, making him a little bit angry. <laughs> he starts having a temper tantrum that causes his house to sink. Dang, you're it! <laughs> After finally catching them, Squidward orders them to dig out my house, which doesn't go so well. <laughs> Resulting in Squidward having a total mental breakdown, forcing SpongeBob and Patrick to dig tunnels all around the Bikini Bottom until... <laughs> uh, uh -oh. And they lived happy ever after... Under Bikini Bottom. I hate... Me. Mr. Krabs hires SpongeBob to... Promote the Krusty Krab! He dresses up as a Krabby Patty... Hello, sir. Which causes Patrick to think... The giant patty... Has swallowed his... Little buddy... <gasps> They then go around Bikini Bottom, plastering the message, eat at the Krusty Krab literally everywhere. Graffiti! They also left some random guy, uh... Present in there. 
What the? Patrick then rents a plane while SpongeBob rents a blimp. <laughs> He then notices it was a SpongeBob. So he just drives into him, causing this guy to scream. I think the ad campaign. For some reason, they play in traffic. Patrick cosplays as a traffic cone, causing this truck to flip. Thank you, Patrick. Our work here is. Cars begin to fall from the sky. Naturally, they're not happy, considering all of their cars are totaled. They get their revenge by destroying the Krusty Krab. What are we doing up here? Shh, shh, let's savor the moment. Hungry? SpongeBob and Patrick share a Krabby Kitty meal. Patrick just eats it all. Save some for me. And then gets mad that there's no toy. Mr. Krabs overhears him asking for a refund. So he manufactures an official Krusty Krab toy. SpongeBob is instantly obsessed. Disgusting. Right after he pays for the patty pal, Patrick takes it because it came from the meal that we're sharing. He keeps it all day and then parties all night long. <laughs> First thing in the morning, SpongeBob attempts to retrieve his property. It's me. I'm not home right now. Please leave a message. He tricks Patrick by pretending to leave. Hi! Patrick runs away to Squidward's house. After destroying his home, <laughs> I hate them. They go to Sandy's tree dome. What you need is a mediator. Nah, they actually need... <laughs> so they go back to the Krusty Krab where Patrick eats the toy because... If I can't have it, no one can! I had an entire case of a maid! That'll be 13 15. It's just a normal day at Mrs. Puff's boating school. SpongeBob was just figuring out where to put his pencil. I think it goes stuck inside your... When we find out there's a brand new student and his name is Flats the Flounder, he ends up really liking to... Kick people's butts. SpongeBob tries his best to befriend the flounder, which ends up making him just want to kick his butt. Flats then elaborates how he's going to kick his butt on the chalkboard. SpongeBob runs away and hides in the toilet. Oh, that's real nice. The second SpongeBob lets his guard down, Flats shows up and decides he's going to kick his butt twice as hard. SpongeBob then calls Patrick for backup, but he's with Flats. SpongeBob runs away again and snitches to Mrs. Puff. Flats tells her that in the town he's from, kicking someone's butt actually means he wants to be friends with you. When Flats is about to give him a knuckle sandwich, he slips on a banana peel. Where am I? This young boy saved your life. Wow, I'll have to remember that when I'm kicking your but that tickled plankton befriends man ray to help him steal the secret formula together we will rule the world <laughs> plankton makes a visit to the crusty crab and showcases his brand new partner <laughs> ah, ah, ah! was it something i said spongebob attempts to get mermaid man and barnacle boys help <laughs> This is a retirement community, not an insane asylum. He tries to get their attention from outside, but gets attacked by an air conditioner. <laughs> he ends up getting in by pretending he's old. Good afternoon. SpongeBob forgets about his mission because he was too busy rizzing up old ladies. Hands off. <laughs> Barnacle Boy tells him to be your own hero. Meanwhile, Man Ray was developing a Krabby Patty addiction. I must have more. Bring more Krabby Patty. SpongeBob gives him 169 Krabby Patty. Patties, and he eats literally every single one. No more. Can't eat another. Mr. Krabs then makes Plankton pay for every single Krabby Patty. What's this? Ah! SpongeBob finds out that they're going to close Glove World forever. Has the world gone mad? He immediately notifies Patrick. Glove World! The owner of Glove World offers Patrick a very eccentric pair of sweatpants. That looks lovely on you, Patrick. The first ride the experience is the... Tilt the hurt. <laughs> Next up is... Glove drop. <laughs> Somehow they're both completely oblivious as to... Why Glove World must close? Until they go onto the Ferris wheel and it rolls away. They decide to make Glove World great again. The mascot quits and Patrick takes his job. Here you go. Oh, oh, glove ice cream! Oh, ah! He then cuts in line. And he stole my ice cream! Oh. Bro then starts to play whack-a-mole. Come back here! As a last-ditch effort, they lock themselves to the front of Glove World. The only reason we're closing down Glove World is because Glove Universe is opening tonight! The key that I gave you. Where are you keeping it? At the bottom of Glove Lake. The Mr. Krabs was nominated for the cheapest crab award! Can I call you daddy? When they get to the hotel, the bellhop tries to get a tip, so Mr. Krabs trolls him. Give it a try. A nice, shiny, what? 
at him. They then go to the ceremony where we learn the cheapskate handshake. SpongeBob also lends money to random crabs. It's time to award the trophy for this year's cheapest crab. Our boy Eugene made all Krabby Patties free, but charged people one dollar for every step they took. How do I get out of here? This guy just reused toilet paper. I didn't think the competition would be so stiff. He recruits SpongeBob to tell them how cheap he is. Do a little exaggerating. Mr. Crab is a very generous. This causes Mr. Krabs to get disqualified. When back at the hotel room, SpongeBob starts to exaggerate shampoo and towel. But why not exaggerate the entire room? Winner! SpongeBob dropped the soap, SpongeBob. which he ends up slipping on because of Patrick's rubber ducky. Now that he's stuck in his ringer, ah! he asks Patrick for help. There you go, buddy. Now you're stuck forever. Naturally, SpongeBob is not very happy with this miscommunication. Hmm. Ah! Is that better? No. How am I supposed to flip patties like this? Patrick proceeds to give him a motivational speech. Are you gonna let this ringer? Ah! It takes him an entire hour to make one crappy patty. While handing it over to Squidward, he accidentally burns his eyes off. Ah! Can I have a Mr. Krabs then kicks him out for giving away free money. They go to Weenie Hut Jr. in an attempt to make SpongeBob feel better. There's an issue though. I can't even eat ice cream now. So they go to the carnival where they end up having a massive fight. You're ruining my life. <laughs> Patrick's tears help SpongeBob escape. Oh, yeah. Mr. Krabs takes a visit to Sandy's tree dome because there is a massive sweeping. Sandy explains, This is the result of an experimental growth serum I developed. Mr. Krabs sees this as an opportunity to get rich. What's that, Mr. Krabs? Can I borrow your telephone? He requests SpongeBob to get a Krabby Patty. After a lot of convincing, she agreed to test the growth serum on the Krabby Patty. But only a single drop. Which did not do anything. Then Sandy had to take a dump. For some reason, she entrusted Mr. Krabs with the entire beaker of growth serum? Thanks for the tour, Sandy. See you later. Eh, that patty doesn't look like it's growing to me. Bro spoke a little bit too soon. The patty becomes fucking humongous. <laughs> it takes off SpongeBob's shoe and swallows Mr. Krabs. Take me home, Daddy! It then terrorizes all of Bikini Bottom. Sandy rescues SpongeBob and her magical Rubik's Cube says, The key to defeating the patty is you. Oh, my body. What do I do now? Squidward woke up nice and early to watch his favorite show, Five and Fancy, just to find out that it was Godzilla. for a show called Zeus the Guitar Lord. Bro starts begging for donations because he doesn't even have a guitar yet. Hello? Do they give a show to just anybody? Pretty much. He makes a show and calls it Squidward Chat. SpongeBob discovers this news. Squidward, you're on TV. I know you're on TV too. He then notifies Patrick and he starts deep throating the camera. <laughs> <laughs> This is disgusting. Patrick becomes the cameraman, while SpongeBob becomes the sound man. SpongeBob. Mr. Krabs starts to advertise the Krusty Krab, Krusty Krab. Sandy and Pearl join the mayhem. <laughs> Plankton begins to shoot off his ray gun, and then Larry throws a party. Hey, everyone. <laughs> we find out that the show is doing great, but that Squidward sucks, so he gets kicked out of his own show. Squidward house party. <laughs> Okay, man, Plankton invades a Krabby Patty that belonged to Sandy. Oh no! Because of the lack of water, he passes out. <laughs> he is then revived once Sandy starts taking a shower. He proceeds to steal her fur. What in tarnation? He then becomes Sandy. Howdy, partner. SpongeBob notices that you're not wearing your spacesuit and helmet. I just breathe underwater now. Other than that, he was fucking oblivious. Just giving Plankton all of the ins and outs of making a steamy Krabby Patty. Mr. Krabs then puts the secret Krabby Patty formula out in plain sight. Meanwhile, Sandy's being bullied because she's a naked chipmunk. <laughs> she builds a skirt out of grass, but it ends up breaking. <gasps> Get in the car, kids. She goes to the Krusty Krab to get SpongeBob's help at the same time as Plankton's trying to escape with the secret formula. My help! Gotcha. They then arrest Sandy because public nudity is against the law. SpongeBob learns how to curse. Sailor's mouth begins with SpongeBob taking out the trash when he discovers some writing on the dumpster. What's this one? Krabs is a. 
Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Patrick then tells SpongeBob that word is a sentence enhancer. Attention customers, don't forget to ask us too. This causes literally every customer at the Krusty Krab to leave, which makes Mr. Krabs a little bit angry. You mean... It's bad word number 11. <laughs> they then go home and play a board game. SpongeBob ends up losing, so he says... Ah! You said... They then race back to the Krusty Krab to tell Mr. Krabs... He said... He said Time to take out the trash. Then Mr. Crab stubs his toe. Oh my foot! What? Jay just brought a rock in a bath. They then snitch on him to his mother, which causes her to die. Squidward discovers that his kelp garden is dead, so he uses kelp grow to revive it. And then he runs into SpongeBob and Patrick. <laughs> They're both trying to do good deeds today. Like trimming your kelp garden. Patrick is forced to eat ice cream instead. So Squidward makes it bigger. SpongeBob wishes he had some of that kelp grow stuff. So Patrick steals it from Squidward and then makes his nose bigger. They also help Mr. Krabs make big money. Squidward threatens them. If they do not fix his nose, they will hear from his lawyer. Patrick says, if you put the bottle upside down, it has to shrink it. He was very wrong. They end up making Squidward a massive giant, which causes him to ink himself. He then chases Spongebob and Patrick into the city. All the city folk attack him, so naturally he runs away. Is that him? I'm a lamppost. Oh. Squidward now has nowhere to live, and is forced to sleep on the floor. Spongebob and Patrick feel bad, so they make him a massive clarinet, which ends up making him return to normal. It's just a normal day at the Krusty Krab. Spongebob is just making a Krabby Patty. What? He was... Squidward is tired of all the crying. He pulls out a TV to show SpongeBob every time he's ever cried, which was 43 times today. I do cry a lot. So Squidward bets that he cannot go the rest of the day without crying. If he cries, he has to do all my yard work for a year. But if he doesn't, they're both going to have a summer party at my place. Squidward obviously does not want this to happen. So he forces SpongeBob to watch a sad news story. Oh! About Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. He's about to cry. So he throws the TV out the window. Thanks for the TV. I'm gonna watch it all night. It is time to sleep. So Squidward starts telling him a sad bedtime story. Just as he's about to cry, it becomes midnight. It looks like you won. <laughs> What a great- <laughs> Today is the 25th anniversary of the first time Plankton ever attempted to finesse the Krabby Patty secret formula. A peculiar robot arrives at the Krusty Krab. After the robot pays for its food, Plankton pops out of the dollar bill. So he flushes him down the toilet. Plankton is very tired of being mistreated. So after getting roasted by his wife, he tries to hire people to beat up Mr. Krabs. That doesn't work very well. Karen also decides to cry him so he contacts all of his plankton brothers welcome he introduces them to his computer wife and they teach her plankton's first name she sure is pretty sheldon <laughs> Sheldon then reveals the plan to them, but they want to know what's in it for them. So he offers them all the root beer they could drink. They easily take over the Krusty Krab. So the time is finally here. The secret recipe for Krabby Patty is Plankton. <laughs> Squidward begins to get annoyed by SpongeBob, which causes him to accidentally spill hot chocolate on himself. He begins to walk away, but hears SpongeBob following him. So he full out sprints to his car, but realizes he forgot his keys. You left your keys on the table back there. <laughs> Squidward drives into a stop sign, which causes him to get pulled over and have to go to boating school. And guess who's there? <laughs> the only seat available is right next to SpongeBob, which makes them boating buddies. He then goes to the bathroom to try to avoid SpongeBob. <laughs> Ruin my morning. For our they then go for the driving test. We find out that SpongeBob is not the best driver. They just keep driving through stores and then a top secret laboratory that that causes them all to get minimized. They decide to hang out on a potato chip, which causes this mailman to want to eat them. No. 
did Squidward go? I was just leaving. Squidward is very excited because it's the weekend SpongeBob and Patrick go camping. Wouldn't it be great if they got lost in the woods and never came back? He was very disappointed when he discovered they were camping right next to his house. SpongeBob then tells him to have fun inside, which he takes as a challenge, as if he's not able to survive in the wilderness. That's it, I'm in. Squidward's gonna come camping with us. Squidward overpacks just a little bit. He attempts to show off his self-assembling tent. It doesn't work, so he shows off his sleeping bag instead. They then all consume marshmallows. SpongeBob sings the campfire song song and then warns Squidward about sea bears. They educate him on everything that attracts a sea bear and then he does all of those things. <laughs> Don't worry, Patrick. I'll draw us an anti-sea bear circle. A sea bear shows up and breaks Squidward's back. He ends up finding safety in the circle, but then a sea rhino shows up. SpongeBob gets Gary a pal he could play with named Puffy Fluffy. This lady warns him that these creatures can be very dangerous. SpongeBob completely ignores this and introduces Gary to the pillow pet. <laughs> Whenever he leaves the room, Fluffy tries to eat Gerald. It is not nice to ignore friends, so he gives him some toys to play with. <laughs> Later, he has them sleep in the same bed. Gary, Puffy Fluffy is harmless, see? We learn that Puffy Fluffy has evolved into some sort of monster. Gary attempts to fight him off with a frying pan. <laughs> Complete mayhem is unleashed in the pineapple. When SpongeBob finally wakes up, he believes that Gary destroyed the house because he was jealous about the new friend. Unlock this door! <laughs> Put Fluffy down. Fluffy then tries to eat SpongeBob. We also learn that Gary's a cowboy. <laughs> Well, Gary, what do you have to say for yourself? Patrick needs a break because he's been sleeping for my whole life. So he attempts to book a vacation. He gets kicked out because he doesn't have any money. So instead, he takes a vacation. Or in other words, SpongeBob makes his house a hotel. My name is Todd. Can I check you in? Patrick is not a fan of his hotel room, so he has it rearranged. Are you sure about this? He then encounters the pool. He has SpongeBob make him a diving board. <laughs> Patrick starts drowning, so SpongeBob turns into a life off. <laughs> this makes Patrick very hungry, so SpongeBob makes him a Krabby Patty, but he overcooks it. Meanwhile, Squidward's making some elegant stew that Patrick just devours. <laughs> Get out of my SpongeBob then gives Patrick a massage. Oh yeah, that's a spot. <sighs> he also plays with Squidward's feet. After that, he goes home just to find Patrick sleeping in his bed. Patrick, what are you doing here? Sandy is going out of town. Therefore, SpongeBob and Patrick must take care of her pets, which includes a bird, cricket, snake, and wormy. Hey. They become best friends with Wormy. After playing hide and go seek for 12 hours in a row, SpongeBob and Patrick must go home. During that night, Wormy turns into a butterfly. First thing in the morning, they both go back to see Wormy. Problem is, neither of them know what a butterfly is. <laughs> what is that thing? It must have eaten Wormy! They try to run away, but Wormy blocks their path. They then try to use Patrick as bait. It doesn't go so well. They then trap Wormy in a bubble that floats its way to the Krusty Krab. They believe Wormy is about to eat Squidward and Mr. Krab, so they tackle them to safety. That's the monster. It's kinda cute. <laughs> SpongeBob then tells the entire Bikini Bottom, which basically causes a apocalypse. Patrick, we saved the city! SpongeBob discovers a very catchy tune. Musical doodle! Which really annoys Squidward. <laughs> Mr. Krabs then requests SpongeBob to clean the poop deck. I'm mopping and I'm singing. Squidward attempts to request SpongeBob to end the concert, but ends up getting a little wet. Quit it with that tune already. It's just so catchy. Don't care. Squidward attempts to mask the ruckus by playing the radio, but the radio ends up playing the same tune. <laughs> SpongeBob then begins to lose it. This song and I were meant to be together. Like bro just starts flying away. He ends up staying up the entire night listening to the song. People start noticing that something's up with SpongeBob. Excuse me, young man. <laughs> it really wasn't that difficult to tell. Sandy discovers that SpongeBob has a earworm, and the only way to get rid of it is another catchy tune. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
SpongeBob starts his day with a cup of joe. We also learn that today's the first day of summer. So he pulls up to the Krusty Krab as a flower. Mr. Krabs overhears that it's the first day of summer. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is excited because all of the kids are out of school with allowances, which means a lot more money for him. Almost closing time. What about the money? It ends up that all the kids are at some new playground. I got nothing to live for unless Mr. Krabs decides to develop Krabby Land, which is literally just a bunch of trash put together. Some kid gets a concussion on the slide. Where am I? So Mr. Krabs makes them all sign a waiver. Everyone who hands theirs back gets to meet Krabby the Clown! Yeah! SpongeBob distracts the children while Mr. Krabs counts their money. I mean, while he gets Krabby the Clown, which ends up just being Mr. Krabs with a tomato on his nose. I just care about their parents' money! Yeah! Nice. SpongeBob finds out that Mr. Krabs is gonna have to let the little guy go. What? He attempts to figure out which one of us is the little guy. It's time for SpongeBob to face the fact that I'm the little guy. As in, I won't have to work with you. We find out that Mr. Krabs was just talking about his pet scallop. SpongeBob is completely oblivious to this fact. I've lost the will to go on. <laughs> Though he looks for a new job so he can purchase food for me. He first tried being a bank teller and a construction worker. I told you to build me a house, not a sandwich. After those horrible failures, he attempts to audition as a sponge model. He believes that he does not have the talent to win the role. What you dream? All right, I've heard enough. He was completely right, though there's no other sponges. So he wins by default. I am gonna be a star. Of a cleaning commercial, and he's the cleaning utensil. Loose the pants. He's vibing until he's instructed to make a toilet sparkle. Hello. Patrick is having a panic attack because his parents are coming to visit. But they think I'm dumber than a sack of diapers. So they come up with a plan. SpongeBob acts like he's stupid, so Patrick looks smart in comparison. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. You recognized us this time. SpongeBob then arrives. Patrick's father tells him to put her here. He means shake. No, SpongeBob. Shake hand. No. They ask him if he lives nearby, so he runs into his pineapple. <laughs> Patrick forgets that SpongeBob is only pretending. I mean, look at the way he's dressed. <laughs> he said. <laughs> SpongeBob then confesses that he was pretending to be dumb the entire time, but they do not believe him. Three minutes in the kitchen and our son has taught him to talk. No! You taught him to sing. We then find out that they're not even Patrick's parents. Who are you people? Does this lovely couple belong to you? SpongeBob wakes up nice and early and realizes that Squidward just received a package. The package ends up being a $1,700 purebred snail. Wow, a snail made out of bread. We learn that his snail's name is Snelly, and she has to start her training. Training? For the bikini bottom snail race. SpongeBob considers entering Gary into the race. You can't enter Gary because Gary's a mutt. This angers SpongeBob, so he begins to train Gary for the race. Thing is, Gary could not care less. You gotta start training if you wanna win. Patrick also enters a snail into the race. That's a rock. SpongeBob then begins to overtrain Gary. The race is about to begin. Snelly takes a massive lead. You're blowing everything we trained for. Gary finally begins to move and then has some technical difficulties. Snelly then turns around to comfort Gary because they're in love. While they're distracted, the f***ing rock wins the race. <laughs> There is a commotion in the Krusty Krab because Squidward's missing. Where is he? He's in the storage room. They discover a broken shelf and an injured Squidward engulfed by patties. Injured? On the job? Oh no, that would mean substantial fines. Substantial fines? Squidward sees this as an opportunity to get Mr. Krabs to literally do anything so he does not report him to the government. Please don't report me. He makes him carry him around, give him back massages, even play with his toes? I think Mr. Squidward is hiding something and I want you to investigate. Which was a terrible idea. SpongeBob just ended up repeatedly striking Patrick with the shelf and then calling the government anyway. I'm here to investigate. Squidward makes up some elaborate lie, which makes him look like a hero. Right before Mr. Krabs is about to get fined one dollar, he remembers that he had a camera installed. But 
Plankton has turned into a Discord moderator. That's the life. Which causes the chum bucket to become a total failure. So Karen gives him some advice on how to obtain the Krabby Patty recipe. All he has to do is use the mind connector on Mr. Krabs. Karen accidentally launches him at a life-size cutout of Mr. Krabs. <laughs> he first connects to SpongeBob's eyes in an attempt to watch him make one perfect Krabby Patty. After that failure, he goes to the brain. <laughs> Everything on the outside's pointless, so he goes inside. The library, where he keeps all of his secrets. He finds out that the secret recipe is located in the heart. He finally gets the recipe. And it's all mine! Though he's slowly becoming SpongeBob. You got the recipe? I sure did. Bring it to the chum bucket. Wouldn't that be stealing? Karen forces him to come back. But on the way, he runs into Patrick. Where's the recipe? The what? SpongeBob enters. Squidward Shed! Where Patrick gets a trowel stuck in his butt. <laughs> they then play with Squidward's lawnmower. Their destination is the cemetery, where the Flying Dutchman is getting ready for his first blindy. He notices the ruckus that SpongeBob is making, so he goes to see what's going on. <laughs> He is very upset that he lost his beard. So we turn SpongeBob and Patrick into ghosts. First thing they do is haunt Squidward. Forever. <laughs> they both get terrible sleep because SpongeBob can't sleep in his bed and Patrick can see through my eyelids. It's time for work where SpongeBob learns that he can no longer be a fry cook. I don't want to be a ghost anymore. I don't either. Because food just goes right through him. Yeah. The Flying Dutchman agrees to change us back if they make him not ugly. So SpongeBob becomes his new beard several months later. The girl wants to marry me. That is my dream girl. It is Valentine's Day in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob got gifts for literally everyone, even Plankton. He got a super special gift for his best friend Patrick though. SpongeBob's plan is to position him and Patrick on the Ferris wheel and then have Sandy show off the hot air balloon. He tells Patrick about the surprise, but not what it is. They then go to the carnival. Patrick is convinced that the carnival is his present. Everybody out, this is my carnival. It's not the carnival. Then he thinks it's a quarter, then cotton candy. He even thinks it's this random guy. Sandy then runs into some issues with the hot air balloon, causing Patrick to think that his present was just a handshake. At first, he didn't care. It's the thought that counts. But after everyone shoved the amazing present SpongeBob got them in his face, he f lost it. <laughs> It's all good though, because Sandy repaired the hot air balloon and everything was happy ever after. Mr. Krabs challenges Squidward to run a restaurant. Squidward proclaims that his culinary skills could make even the chum bucket a success. Plankton overhears this statement and offers him complete control of the chum bucket. He was going to decline the offer until he heard Mr. Krabs say, I don't value you at all. Squidward introduces Plankton to his grandma tentacles secret recipe. Plankton has one bite of the new chum and is convinced that Squidward is going to be a star. He is not wrong whatsoever. Play chum bucket. Becomes so popular that Mr. Krabs is trying to steal Plankton's secret recipe. Bon appetit, suck. Guys. <laughs> Squidward begins to sign autographs until his grandmother shows up. Someone's been cooking my recipe. And they're doing it. <laughs> she informs everyone that if the chum is not cooked for exactly 24 hours, it causes severe diarrhea. <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick become ghosts. <laughs> Stay back! In season 3, episode 20, Spongebob goes to... The Palace of Pranks. To pick up some invisible spray. Any particular reason you took your pants off? Well, that stuff stains clothes. They start having a disagreement, which causes them to get caught lacking. And on your right, if you look, you'll see two naked guys. They then begin to have a full-out paint war, until they're both fully invisible. Excuse me, sir, but do you have the time? It's uh, 10 to 3. Who said that? <laughs> Ghosts! They then begin to purposely scare people. First was Sandy. She literally went all the way back to Texas. You will soon be mine. <laughs> They ended up scaring literally everyone in the Bikini Bottom except Mr. Krabs. Oh, I gotta get out of here! They then make one fatal mistake. Messing with Mr. Krabs' money. The Krusty Krabs! 